testing the new firmware I just got a few days ago, uh, 2017.32.6, and then it follows with CA28 something. Um, <coughs> I've not had uh, too big of an impression yet, I haven't been driving so much. Um, I am wondering if uh, the um, there, there seems to be some changes, and you can see it already that the, the wheel is moving quite a lot, so it kind of is more active, searching for lane markers than before. Um, I wouldn't say ping-ponging, maybe it is. It's not the same ping-pong we had uh, this spring. Um, I do believe that uh, they have uh, <coughs> mostly done things with uh, with the system on other sides uh, especially uh, you know the P90D issue where they put a counter on uh, that limited uh, how fast the car could go so I think uh, a hero of mine in uh, Arizona has uh, had a settlement with Tesla to, to make the firmware update and remove all those limits. So usually in this band I um, have troubles, uh, you have to watch the energy meter because it have false positives for other cars uh, on the fence there or is it the car side coming against us. So previously in previous firmwares we usually had troubles um, on this road that the car drifted outward in bends. Um, I do not think it does that anymore. It's rather on the on the inside uh, as an affinity for the inside lane marker now. Um, quite a lot so, maybe a bit too much as you can see now from this bend and the other one, but uh, we're not drifting outwards anymore. So that's good, I guess. It's not going so fast, uh, as fast as I used to here and now. There's a lot of traffic and uh, just following <coughs> the lead car. Uh, it still does that very well. It also definitely identifies cars stopped at the red light, uh, which is uh, which it, it hasn't seen before and brakes for them. Uh, it does so very confidently, I would say, so that's a good thing. I'm not able to show you that now, uh, unless we are lucky and uh, get into some sort of um, uh, stop situation down here, and we don't. So, okay. <coughs> I would also say that uh, tracking for exits and uh, things like that is is working really well most of the time. But one thing. Uh, which is special is that uh, the car uh, is uh, having troubles identifying the lanes if there's only a small undulation in the road. So you don't, uh, if you're driving over a crest or down downhill, there's really no. The car will have big troubles with that kind of situation, even if it's. Totally fine for easy for me to spot the lanes. So let's see if we can get it to do an on ramp also. Yeah. So it wasn't bit much of a challenge really the, the, the right lane went all the way. But um, Sure. Some some other owners uh, on the Tesla Motors Club has reported uh, a left hugger syndrome with this car now after the last updates. I'm not sure if we're seeing that. As you can see, speed limit is 70, but uh, traffic flows in 80. <coughs> kind of turns a bit late, but still definitely stays more in the middle of the lane, also in the bends. So that's a good thing. Left, left, keep to the right, please. There's a, there's a T 
diesel Volkswagen cheat car on the left, so I have to stay away from that one. Now this bend here is also uh, another challenge. Uh, now it hugs the right line a little bit, that's okay. And then we get the curb, and then it usually gets some phantom braking here. And uh, it takes it easy, going slowly, but so is traffic. I did not drift. I'm gonna show you uh, a nice feature now. Um, okay, automatic lane change doesn't work here, but if I put it on, it shows <laughs> the blinker on, it shows the car in the adjacent lane. So now it went slow, it's 50. <coughs> That's not so funny. So, construction site, usually one of the hazard areas, but works fine. <coughs> I'll show you something else also. That's quite funny. Okay, this is a... Um, we have the collision avoidance steering system. I will see if I can reproduce it. I've done it several times here, and it, the car takes all the steering and, and tries to avoid a collision. So, let's see if we can do it. If I go kind of fast into this one, like this, and, yeah, and it steers quite heavily to the right. Pretty scary when it happens. Uh, you don't really know what's, what's going on, but uh, maybe it's a helping hand. Uh, I was in full control, of course, so I was not going to collide, but nevertheless, uh, maybe that's a smart thing. Um, I believe though that the, the most effective thing and the thing that I am the most afraid of is uh, not driving myself off the road but uh, not being able to see a pedestrian or a kid running out in the street or something like that or a bicyclist. That's what I want a car to stop for but um, I'm not sure if we have that and I don't know how to test it either. So let's go a bit faster and down in this dark tunnel and you know, it's you not really uh, lane markers but the car sees them. Okay, I'm wearing sunglasses so, so it's probably darker for me than for you but the car works, uh, this new software works fine in that regard. So, uh, it's a shame that on this uh, 2 plus 2 row that I can't use uh, the automatic lane change, that would be, <coughs> that would make the use of autopilot much, much more fun, that's for sure. So, okay, please watch my other videos uh, from this from our local roads, still waiting for our FSD, but sometimes you think it will be there.